If I'm a new SUV buyer, I'll definitely pick subcompact crossovers right from the get-go. There's a combination of factors that make these SUVs extra appealing, such as their affordability, functionality, and even style. They are such a huge jump from sedans and hatchbacks in terms of their overall performance, and in most cases, their long-term value. This 2024, we have several SUVs competing in the subcompact segment. And to be honest, a lot of them are worth checking out. I have driven some of them, while the others are already on my radar. But if you want the best ones, this video will help you out. Hello everyone. This is Ted from Carland TV. Take the back seat as in this episode, I am going to present the SUVs that currently top the subcompact crossover department this 2024. These are the SUVs that are rated highly based on critical factors like reliability, driving dynamics, safety, and fuel economy. Also, all of these are under $25,000 models, so even budget-tight buyers can get them. Before I start, I would like to ask you the favor of hitting the subscribe and notification bells. They help the channel a lot. Now buckle up and let's get back to the video. Twenty twenty four Hyundai Kona. With a base price of twenty five thousand, the Hyundai Kona proves itself as a high value competitor in the subcompact market. It has a lot of positive aspects that any shopper would dig into, such as its base engine being too fuel efficient and a cabin that is comfortable and roomy for both passengers and their cargo. In particular, the Hyundai Kona has a base one hundred forty seven horsepower four cylinder powertrain and this one is rated to achieve 34 miles per gallon on the highway and 29 miles per gallon in the city, according to EPA estimates. It's a sleepy powertrain, I know, but it is already enough to make the 2024 Kona a competitive daily transport. There's still an option for you to fit the vehicle with an optional 190-horsepower turbocharged engine, but that would also compromise the car's fuel economy. It's also worth noting that the base model of the Kona is already equipped with a suite of assistance features. It has blind spot monitoring and automated emergency braking as standard features. Meanwhile, the adaptive cruise control is an optional package, but even without it, the 2024 Hyundai Kona is still deemed a safe and reliable subcompact. 2024 Honda HRV. The Honda HRV remains Honda's small crossover for the entry level market, and right now, it's one of the fastest selling cars in the United States, given that it's value driven, feature filled, and surprisingly competent on the road. This $25,000 SUV anchors its design on the popular Honda Civic. So, more or less, you can expect that the HRV is actually agile and athletic. Unfortunately, its sprightly demeanor isn't translated to its speed. The two liter four cylinder powertrain is definitely sluggish at 158 horsepower. As mentioned, the entire HRV is built around the Honda Civic platform, so you shouldn't be surprised that it also uses a Civic engine. According to real world tests, its 0 to 60 miles per hour is roughly 10 seconds, and that is definitely uninspiring. You have the option to get the 180 horsepower turbocharged 1.5 liter hybrid powertrain, but that would require you to pay more. Hence, I recommend that you only get the HRV if you are looking for a refined and comfortable transport. If it's the other way around, you should move on. It's a good thing that the HRV has an attractive and well-appointed interior. The seats are comfortable and have adequate adjustments to suit a number of users. It also doesn't lack storage cubbies, and even its cargo room can haul up to six suitcases. Well, it's aesthetics. Meanwhile, the base engine and front-wheel drive setup elevate its fuel economy. It ensures owners save more on gas without compromising their travels. I think that's the trade-off for having a sleepy base engine. 2024 Subaru Crosstrek If you are looking for a subcompact crossover that isn't expensive but can tread off roads, I highly suggest that you go check out its latest model, the Subaru Crosstrek. It's evidently not something that can handle treacherous terrains, but it has the gear and hardware to handle rocky and bumpy paths. The new Subaru Crosstrek has been tailored to anchor its design to its predecessors. There are some changes, but the general concept is still the same. Its practicality and spaciousness have been preserved, and even the powertrains are still maintained. Basically, the base engine has a 152 horsepower output, but there's also an available powertrain that gives it 182 horsepower. Still not that powerful, 
but is enough to remove the pokiness of the Crosstrek. However, the new Crosstray no longer offers a manual transmission. It didn't carry over the manual transmission that was available in the previous model years. All trims of the SUV are bolted with continuously variable automatic transmission already. Still, it's not a deal breaker, and you'll definitely love the Crosstrek not because of the transmission it uses, but because of its comfort-driven ride. The cabin is spacious, and there are sufficient noise-dampening materials fitted to keep your daily travels undisturbed. 2024 Toyota Corolla Cross Another subcompact SUV that stands at the $25,000 price range is the 2024 Toyota Corolla Cross. It's a Toyota, so there's a strong reputation that backs its commercial presence. And to be fair, Toyota did really engineer the Corolla Cross as a competent vehicle. Corolla is the nameplate of one of the most popular production cars Toyota has ever produced. It's known for its reliability and value-driven build. The Corolla Cross was built on the exact same platform as the original Corolla, but this time, it has been upgraded to accommodate a wide range of buyers. Proof of this is that while the Corolla Cross is designed for paved roads and freeways, it still has the ability to traverse beaten paths. The 2024 Toyota Corolla Cross is still an entry-level SUV, so it's expected that there are some limitations to its design. A good example would be its 2-liter four-cylinder engine. It's pokey at 169 horsepower. It's also paired with a continuously variable transmission, which isn't that good in bringing more power or speed to the SUV. However, what this SUV promises to its buyers is that it has a lot of cargo space, a host of safety features, and a fuel economy that will prevent frequent trips to gas stations. 2024 Buick and Vista We all know that Buick is more known for its expensive, semi-luxury crossovers, but this doesn't mean that average consumers don't have any opportunity to get a Buick in their parking lots. Take a look at the brand new Invista. This is an SUV that has coupe-like qualities, but it embeds practicality and efficiency in its system. The design is pretty much similar or comparable to the Mazda CX-30. However, the difference between the Invista and the CX-30 is their handling or general on-road dynamics. The new Invista leans more on the laid-back aspect of things, while the CX-30 is known for being nimble and athletic. So, if you want an engaging transport, the Invista might not be for you. The turbocharged three-cylinder engine of this car only generates 136 horsepower, so even with its six-speed automatic transmission, you can't expect it to be sporty. But if you simply want class and comfort from a vehicle, this crossover from Buick is definitely a fancy choice. The base model of the Invista is priced less than $25,000, but it's already studded with great appointments and generous niceties. I am not saying that its convenience features are at the luxury level, but among its competitors, only a few can match up. Also, I am pretty much satisfied with the standard driver assistance features equipped in this car. Even though the warranty is pretty decent, it is not as extensive as what other subcompact units offer, such as the Hyundai Kona. 2024 Mazda CX-30 Topping this list is no other than the 2024 Mazda CX-30. This SUV is easily the best subcompact you can get if your priority is athletic and well-refined. So far, its driving dynamics are nothing short of impeccable, so it doesn't actually matter if you take it on swirly roads or straight paths, the car stays composed and maneuverable. Well, I wasn't really surprised by the sporty verve of the Mazda CX-30. After all, it's built around the Mazda 3 platform, which is known for its sleek exterior and engaging on-road demeanor. Plus, the Mazda CX-30 feels upscale in its cabin. The appointments are nice, and the materials, including the upholstery and furnishings, don't feel cheap at all. There's also the fact that the interior is elevated, so even large adults can sit upright without having to slouch their heads. The base model of the CX-30 is fitted with a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine, which outputs about 191 horsepower. It's fairly decent already, and since it's paired with a six-speed automatic transmission, the SUV drives with the utmost agility and athleticism. It's stable when hitting the freeways, but its controlled steering ensures that it can clear curves and twisty roads with finesse. It's such a joy to drive the new CX-30 and highly suggest that you check it out too. Sure, it doesn't accelerate fast, 
but it has a savvy fuel economy and a suite of driver assistance features that will compensate for its tepid speed. And that completes our list. Thanks for sticking to the end. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and share buttons. I know it's a chore, but it helps the channel a lot. Until next time, drive safely.